Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I'm finally ready to reveal my new workspace, my office, my craft studio. Um, it's taken me several months to get it to this point. As you may know, if you're a follower of my blog or my Facebook page, back in January, my husband and I moved my studio from um, a space upstairs that was kind of a game room, a really big space, and we closed in part of our front room, which was kind of like, not a formal living, but just another living area that really wasn't getting used very much because my little girl, my smallest uh, daughter, needed her own bedroom. So it was really silly for me to have that giant space up there um, and for her and her big sister to be in a room together where they were fighting. So we um, flew in a friend, an old army buddy of my husband's, who's a, a general contractor, to come and help us build this room. And we did it in about four or five days, but it's taking, taken me several months to tweak and to fix some little things, to get it organized, and I'm ready to show it to you. So I am going to spend this week, while I'm in the Mediterranean with Stamping Up, showing you some different things about my room. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a tour. Okay, so this is the front of my house. This is my door when you walk in my house, and my room is right here. So that was scary to me because I know, you know, my craft room has never been nice and neat, and I really worried about it being the first thing you saw when you walked in that door. So I knew from the beginning we had to make it look really, really nice. So I'm gonna back up, it's really hard to get a view of these doors. My husband built these beautiful sliding barn doors and you can get that um, barn door kit at Home Depot and you can Google um, how to make barn doors uh, or Pinterest, I mean there's a ton of uh, tutorials. So that's what we did. This was, this wall over here was not even here. He and his buddy completely built the wall, put in the lighting and everything. So the doors slide open. I leave them open generally, unless I'm making a video, um, and then I close them if my kids are here. So that is the, this is the entrance. The room's about 12 by 12, I believe. And you can see there's a front window now. Instead of being at the back of the house upstairs, I am in the front of the house downstairs, which is nice. I like to look out the window while I cut paper. Um, so I'm gonna give you just a quick pan of what it looks like. All of our cabinets, um, pretty much everything in here is from Ikea. We, these are custom cabinets in the sense that you go online to Ikea's custom cabinet software and you plug in the dimensions of your room and you really just start building the cabinets that you need. So I was really, really excited to do that. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the cabinets. I will say um, it's been a problem that our closest Ikea is two hours away because when Ikea delivered like a thousand pieces, because when you buy from Ikea, things come not put together. I mean, every ounce of these cabinets were in different pieces and we had to assemble all of them. So when you get a thousand pieces delivered from Ikea, you are inevitably missing pieces and things break. So that was hard and it was difficult putting all these cabinets together. I think we had 19 different cabinets and different uh, combinations, all these drawers. Um, but we had some help. Uh, several of my husband's buddies came and, and we really got it knocked out. So that's where all of these cabinets and the countertops are from. 